Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up VNC over SSH. Basically, this is a way to go ahead and view your Tezos node and uh, set it up so you can connect to it securely from an iPad or iPhone and go ahead and maintain it that way rather than using TeamViewer or some other third party software that costs a lot of money and isn't extremely secure. So first of all, you're going to go ahead and have a base layer, a base Ubuntu set up. I went ahead and just did VMware at my house, uh, which means I also had to do some port forwarding uh, with my uh, router. So first of all, you're going to go ahead and install the SSH server. As you can see, I did that here. And all these instructions will go ahead and be included in the description below. So I'll go ahead and wait for that to install. Then from here, you're going to go ahead and you're going to edit the SSH configuration. Basically here, we're going to change the port number from the default port 22 to, I'm just going to use 777 in this example video. This makes it so that if anybody is scanning your ports, uh, they don't see that you're using the port 22 and they don't decide to do a, either a denial of service attack on that port or they don't decide to go ahead and do a... Uh, a uh, brute force attack on your SSH port since they see that you're using it a lot. If you use a separate port, it really raises the security. Some of the ways to raise the security is to go ahead and lock all folders that you don't want to be accessed by the non-root user and then make, make it so that you can only SSH in through that user and then they can't access any of the folders that have like your crypto keys or anything like that. So even if they do brute force you, they can only log in as the normal user, which can't really do much. They can just look at your, your look at your, like your uh, your taps configuration or something like that. Now I'll go ahead and restart your SSH server. And right here, I'm basically just waiting. Uh, I had, had the system updating in the background, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and update again, just to make sure I have everything I need. If you don't do this and you're missing some of the upgrade options, uh, the update options, you're going to have some problems later on. So just make sure that you update your system properly. So now you're going to go ahead and install the actual VNC server itself. Now I went around and I found a few different uh, ways to install the VNC server. I confirmed this works 100% with Ubuntu 20. So you shouldn't have to waste as much time as I did trying to figure out which server works and what packages you need to install for it. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and install the um, the goodies pack and everything like that. Then you're going to create your password using the VNC server command. Also, this VNC server that I used in this tutorial, it works a lot better because you can have a longer password. Some of the other services only allow eight characters. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and kill the VNC server. And then I'm going to go ahead and start the VNC server with the video settings that I want. As you can see here, I have a 1280 by 720. That's uh, just regular HD. That means when you log in from your iPad, it'll re relatively take up the whole screen. So now I'm going to install NetTools. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at my local my local um, IP address so that way I can go ahead and do port forwarding on port 7772 my IP address 
as you can see here, uh, I have you go ahead and use this Remoter Pro app. I tried a couple different apps. Uh, none of them worked very well uh, with the secure SSH VNC viewer. So I would recommend definitely using this app. It costs $6.99, but it's well worth the money. It's very stable. You can have many other options you can use to log in. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do that here. This is the user. This is just the name of the the, the, the login session, whatever you want to call it. doesn't really matter. From right here, you put in your public IP address. I'm not going to share my public IP address here, so I went ahead and blacked that out. <laughs> From uh, here, you want to go ahead and change the default port of the service. And that was 777. Remember that first setting we did earlier? Change the username to Mac. That's me. I'll put in your SSH password. That was the password you set earlier. And for this one, you use the GNC host name. You don't use your IP address for this. You use localhost because you're actually already SSHing in before you do the VNC session, which means you're actually in the SSH session, which means it's local, and then you're VNCing from there. This is what raises the security of the whole, this whole process. So now you're in connected. Now I'm connected on my iPad Pro. And as you can see, I'm doing it with, on the top right, you can see I'm connected to 4G. This isn't on my local network or anything. And I'm going to go ahead and create a file here. This is just a test and show you guys that it's working. And I'm actually logged into the same exact terminal we were just at in my uh, local uh, VMware Ubuntu setup. And yo, 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 what's up? Anyways, yeah, it's just a test file. So I'll go ahead and set that up. Um, like I was saying before, uh, there are a few other techniques to go ahead and make this, uh, this process even stronger. You can make it so this logged in user, which is Mac right now. You can go ahead and lock like his documents folder, his downloads folder, or your root folder, which mine is locked. I, he can't view it unless I log in as root. And basically, I just made this VNC viewer uh, tutorial for people who kind of want to use taps. And if you want to use taps from a remote server, you can go ahead and install that. And taps is basically a, a Tezos payment uh, a web server kind of thing. And you don't want to, I didn't want to open up taps to the public so I could view the web server from the outside. I want to just set it up locally so it's more secure, especially since it has private keys and everything involved. Now go back to your virtual machine. This was on my local computer on the VMware Fusion. And you want to log out once because uh, once you log in through the VNC viewer, um, they take over your session. So now you can go ahead and go to documents. You can see the document I just made on my iPad. And yo, 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 you can see the files right there. And that's it. All right, everybody, I hope that explained well how to set up VNC over an SSH tunnel. And if you want to see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe. And in the future, I'm planning to do a video on STOs as well as other security updates you can do for your Tezos Baker and setting up automatic payments. So please be sure to check out my Twitter and check out the website. And thank you for viewing.